Hey guys, Jordan Wade here for City Lights and Novus TV. And tonight we're gonna to take you back, take you way back to a bygone era in Canadian history that not many know about. Forbidden Vancouver Walking Tours presents Prohibition City. <laughs> What inspired you to get Forbidden Vancouver out off the ground? Well, I, it's a few things to that question. I was working a corporate job for many years and I'd known for a long time I want to start my own business and do something really fun. I was attracted to the idea of doing something with history and engaging people and creating something entertaining. And a couple of other businesses that really inspired me, one was Underground Seattle, which many people here will be very familiar of, and also the Edinburgh Ghost Tours. I thought both those companies did a really good job of taking history and making it accessible for people. So that was the idea and the premise for Forbidden Vancouver. What's been the process and the reaction like so far? It's been great, it's been amazing. You know, you start these things without any idea of how popular it will be. I just started on my own on the streets. I didn't even have a website. I was just trying to get friends and family along to, to the tour and see if they, how they thought of it. And we got onto TripAdvisor. We built a, a, a great website bill. We got the word out as best we could, trooping around hotels, talking to concierges and uh, slowly people started coming, you know, we started adding more tours, more guides and we're going to do about 200, 250 tours this year. How can people sign up for the tours? When are they offered? So it's super easy, all the bookings are online, forbiddenvancouver.ca You just go on, credit card, put your details in, you get emailed a ticket, you turn up and show it. Super straightforward to book. Giselle, what exactly is Prohibition City? Well, Prohibition City takes you on a tour of the forbidden past of Vancouver, Vancouver during Prohibition, because we often associate Prohibition with the states, but most provinces in Canada had a period of Prohibition, including BC, so we sort of take you through that, but on the streets of Vancouver, so you can see sort of where certain things happen, or what it might have looked like at the time. When was the Canadian Prohibition? Well, Prohibition in BC was from 1917 to 1920. Didn't last very long. BC was the last province to get Prohibition and the first province to get rid of it. It wasn't very successful here. <laughs> so what attracted you to this role? Well, I really enjoy a Vancouver history. I was born and raised here, so I have an interest in the history and the architecture, especially because we go through Gastown and the downtown east side. Those are Vancouver's oldest neighborhoods, so there's a lot of history in those streets. I was interested to learn about that kind of history here. So as a Vancouverite, uh, what were your thoughts of this tour, uh, Prohibition City? I thought it was very interesting. I uh, kind of learned a lot of stuff I didn't had no idea about. I live actually in Gaston down the road. I walk by a lot of these buildings every day and I had no idea of the history. So I learned actually a lot about especially the Prohibition days. So as uh, Jolly Good Londoners, uh, what attracted you to Vancouver and specifically this tour, Prohibition City tonight? When we explore cities, I think we like to see kind of the, the, the underground side of it, you know, we enjoy walking tours and you get to see a side of a city you don't normally see, you certainly wouldn't see in a museum and it's great to, I think to take in a history in a kind of oral way and an interactive way. What was the most interesting thing that you learned on the tour tonight? I really liked the story of the blind pigs, the, blind the pig. dens as well, so everything was really, really interesting. And for those that know, you have to take the tour to find out what the blind pigs are all about. So the tour just wrapped up, yes. how do you think it went? It went really well. We had a really good group. It's always nice when people are animated and uh, engaged and they respond and they laugh at all my corny jokes and <laughs> they answer questions. It's, I think it was a really good tour. Now where does the tour begin and where does it end and approximately how long does it take? It starts in Cathedral Square right across from the Holy Rosary Cathedral at Densmere and Richards and then it ends right by the steam clock in Gastown and it takes about 90 minutes. But what do people who had this tour today take away from the experience? They might have certain ideas about the kind of city that Vancouver is or was, and I think that they saw a different side of it, literally. I think it's seen as a very polished and sort of shiny city, but there's a dark and seedy underbelly, and it's been there since the very beginning. So I think that there's a lot of things that people don't know about Vancouver. That's an unexplored side of Vancouver's history. So there you have it. Prohibition City from Forbidden Vancouver Walking Tours. For more information, go to ForbiddenVancouver.ca. This is Jordan Wade from a bygone era on City Lights on Novus TV.